Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I wanted to make a little video today. Um, I haven't shown this tank off in quite some time. Uh, I know y'all seen Kamikaze in a while. He's freaking huge. Big humped. Uh, Amarillo is a wild caught. Uh, Amphilovis Amarillo from Jeff Raps. I got him down even eight. I think he's probably almost eight years old now. Uh, at least seven. And it's hard to even remember anymore. Um, this is my 150 gallon tank. Uh, yeah, before anybody, you know, bashing me for the draft catfish being in here, he was in my other tank with my peacock bass. And while I was trying to pellet train them and all that, um, he's, I won't say food aggressive, but he is a, uh, a vacuum when it comes to food. So he wasn't really letting my bass or my clown knife get much of anything to eat. So I had to move him into this tank for the time being so I could get them fed and grown up a little bit more and all that but there is also another reason why he's in this tank um i need to go ahead and move him because i've got things kind of in the works um right now I'm trying to move things around to set up a larger setup for him i'm looking at something around 300 plus gallons right now um i just right now I just have to wait to get the uh to get the room together for it and i figure I might as well just leave him in here for the little bit of time that's going to be, and then he will be going over to to something larger. He's going to be going with my Amarillo too. He's going to be going into the um, into the into the new setup once I get it up. Uh, I did pick up some ten foil barbs. I got three of them running around here. They're I don't know what maybe like four inches, three inches. It's hard to really even tell anymore. I'm so used to the large fish. These small ones are hard to even judge. Um, and this guy right here, this is actually why I'm making the video because I'm I'm pretty excited. I finally got. One fish I've been wanting to get for quite a while. This is uh, my red-tailed giant Grammy. My daughter has named him Blaze. This is her fish. Yeah, our fish, you might as well say. Um, one of my local stores, I ended up finding out had one. They'd had him a while. So I ended up getting quite a good deal on him. And he doesn't look the best right now. As I just picked him up yesterday. Um, he's a little beat up because... Uh, well, yeah, I got a little story for, for this guy already. Um, the store that he was at... When the guy went to get him out of the tank, now mind you, this tank was about, I don't know, say about six foot off the ground, because I'm six foot, and the, the top of the tank was about that high up off the ground. When he went to net him, the fish, or he took off to the other end of the tank, flew out of the tank, got about a foot up in the air, above the tank, so he's about seven to eight feet in the air, and it came down on a tile floor. And... We, you know, we both kind of sat there in astonishment that that even happened, and you know, we're we're scared that he was going to be injured. So we got him in the, got him in the bag and everything, and put him back in the tank for a minute, turned the light off, and, and let him let him chill. He, you know, he right himself after a minute. He did knock himself kind of silly, but it made me feel so bad in a way. I, I rushed. I mean, the, the place I went to is almost a fifty mile trip from where I live. Um, I felt so bad. I went out there to to, to get this fish at home, and. Uh, you know, give him something better than what he had, and he almost almost kills himself. But, you know, it is what it is. Stuff happens. You know, I've had fish jump all the time. I just was not expecting that. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, he will he will be in here with probably just a tin full of barbs and my little bristle nose, wherever it is. And there's a little bristle nose in here, too, a female. She's only, I don't know, three or four inches long. She looks so minuscule. But it, it, and this really surprised me how relaxed Kamikaze has become. I don't know if any of y'all remember him from, you know, way earlier in my YouTube. He was he was pretty nuts. Um, I did used to breed him until he killed his female. Um, he, uh, for some reason, though, the older he's gotten, he's really relaxed. I mean, as you can see, he has all these small fish living with him, and he's, with, he's at least 14 inches now with a monster hump. And he's got some marks on his hump. His hump is never perfect anymore. Like, it's, you know, people love fish with these big heads. But at the same time, I feel in an aquarium environment, it can be kind of hard for them. Because this guy is always bashing his head into things. Um, he he I actually cannot see above him. So, I cannot give him floating pellets because he wound up smashing his head into the lid of the tank. That's actually why I moved him into this tank. He wasn't my... Uh, my 135 gallon at my Fajaka Puffer's in because I could lower the water level so he wouldn't smack his head. And with the uh, sinking food, he no longer does that, but he still, he loves to attack himself in the glass and he runs into stuff and it's, 
I mean, it's ridiculous. I can never have him perfect looking. He's always scraped up. But, I mean, it is what it is, you know. He's he's wild, so it just happens. And, I mean, this tank here is kind of weird because I have, like, the, the, the oddest filtration set up on it. Um, I just did a video the other day on filtration and, uh, you know, how you don't really have to overdo it as much as some people think you really have to. This tank, even though it does have a decent amount of filtration on it, it is still pretty simplified. Um, I will tell you all exactly what is being run on here. I have a uh, Rena XP4. Yes, one of the old Renas, not the uh, the new APIs. Um, filters really old. I mean, you know, knock on wood, I have a few of them, and they've been really reliable. None of them have, you know, crapped out on me yet. Yeah, you know, knock on wood, like I said, leaked or any of that stuff. So they might not be the most powerful filters out there, but they have had some longevity to them. I can give them that. Um, <clears throat> you know, excuse me, but it's, besides the the Rena filter. Um, I'm always had this power head. I'm not. Sh I can't remember the, the rating. I think it's a 200 and okay, 250 gallon power pump uh, with just a sponge filter on top of it. Or you know, um, uh, sorry, pre uh, dang, uh, sponge intake filter. There we go. I can't even think. And then I have this thing over here. I can't remember what company makes it, but it's it's a pretty cool little thing. Um, I think they have it rated for like up to 80 gallons or something. It may be even like a reptile type setup. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but it's, it's a really cool setup. The whole area there where you see with the slits, there's two sponge filters in there. And then you can, I guess you can see the bio rings right there. I mean, it's a pretty cool little internal canister. It, it's, it's been doing me good. The only thing I don't like about it is it has these little generic suction cups. And they only have these little teeny tabs that go into the back of the, the unit. So when you go to 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 move it or if you actually had to pull it off they always come off the unit and stay stuck to the glass and then you have to get them off and you have to put them back in and it's it's such a pain i think the next time i actually had to pull this off i'm gonna i think i may glue them or something on there but i may get new ones first since you know eventually the they're gonna wear out but then i have uh i, I added these not that drastically long ago oh i lost focus there we go but i have two uh what are these ones i can't remember the brand of them now but they're each rated for like 75 gallon um, sponge filters. And the main reason I ended up adding them was because I had two air stones in here. And every time you turn around, they were getting knocked all over the place. So I figure, you know, why not try adding these? Because they probably wouldn't get moved around anywhere near as much. And I mean, at the end of the day, it's giving me more filtration too. So it's not really a bad thing. But at the end of the day, this kind of tracks back to my other video. This entire setup as far as filtration um, I'm trying to think somewhat cost wise the, the Zrena filters I think were somewhere around $250 I don't know what they would be now um, what like $25 for that power head another maybe $5 for the sponges on it um, like $20 for those two sponge filters and another 40 for that so you're figuring maybe just over the cost of an FX6 I have a lot of flow in this tank. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of current everywhere. Uh, everything always stays stable in this tank. I mean, you don't see any good amount of debris, and this, this tank's due for a water change even at that, but there's no real debris to speak of anywhere over the ground. Um, so my main point with it is you don't have to spend a fortune to have really good filtration. Um, now, like I said, this tank does need more media and more stuff like that because it, it, it does have a higher bio load. That's the only thing you really have to concern with. Um, when it comes down to things like mechanical filtration, it's high turnover rate. Things like that are more for us. They're for the visual appeal, the water not being, you know, cloudy, you're having to bring in it. The fish don't care about that. The fish just care that there's no ammonia or nitrite in there and that the nitrates are low. And the nitrates, no amount of filtration you got is going to get rid of those. You're going to have to do you know water changes and or a bunch of plants but if you got high stocking densities there's no way plants are even going to help you i mean i do have pothos in almost every tank there's you know a decent size one in this one they do help but they're still not a cure-all um but yeah i'm going to keep updating on this this grammy like i said right now he's a he or she i'm, I'm almost wondering if maybe a female i'm not a hundred percent sure since i don't know what age you can actually sex these guys well i'll keep losing focus there we go um yeah, I've always wanted one of these. I mean, I have seen albinos in my area before, but I've never came across the red tail in this area, and that's the one I've always wanted. And, yeah, I finally was able to pick one up. Got a, a really killer deal on it. 
so as I will be updating on it, just so y'all will get to see it grow up and um, kind of make updates as it heals up. Cause it's already starting to color up quite a bit. Poor thing, all it was doing in the, uh, in their, the tank of the store was just hiding the whole time. That's you know what they, what they were telling me. They've been really hoping for somebody to, to come get it. <clears throat> but yeah, now it's in a, a at least a decent sized tank for the time being. But yeah, guys, I just want to do a little update. Um, you know, if anybody has any questions on filtration or if there's anything that, you know, you guys would like to know about breeding, cyclical keeping, any type of fish keeping in general, um, just feel free to ask it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it. Like, I have been doing this a very long time, so, you know, I may be able to help you out. Anyways, guys, y'all have a nice day, and uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all guys next time.